Here's an easy hack to stop rumination. So if you're struggling with anxiety, rumination is one of the most intense things, right? You want it to go away. You want to stop ruminating, but you can't. You're always asking yourself, how do I stop ruminating? Well, here's how you do it. In order to stop ruminating, it's very simple. Recognize that rumination is a habit that's been developed. See, when you're experiencing anxiety, a lot of the reasons why you're experiencing it is also because you don't know what's happening. There's a whole bunch of factors, but one of the main ones is you don't know why this is happening. So what's happened is that you're very hyper-focused on the anxiety, hoping that if you can understand how the anxiety works, well, then you can make it go away. So what happens over time is you get very focused on it, right? And what happens is you start developing this habit of rumination. What if it's this? What if it's that? How do I stop focusing on the anxiety? So here's how you stop rumination, okay? All you have to do is recognize when you're ruminating. That's it. See, it requires a little bit of self-awareness, a little bit of being like conscious of what's happening. The problem with people with rumination is that they get really stuck in like this mental headspace, this mental drama that they have. They don't recognize that they're not their thoughts, right? If you're very identified with your thoughts, you're very connected. But if you recognize you're not your thoughts, well, then there's a little bit of space. And so what happens is you become self-aware that you're ruminating. Let me give you an example. Okay, I'm ruminating about my heart palpitations. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Wait, I'm ruminating. Okay, I'm just ruminating. Okay, stop that. Cool. All right. Now, you may notice you have to do that a million times a day. You're like, I have to keep reminding myself that I'm ruminating. I have to keep reminding myself I'm ruminating. Well, that's okay for now because like I mentioned, anxiety and rumination is a habit that's been developed over time, right? Rumination in particular is a habit that's developed over time. You didn't decide to make that a habit. It happened on its own. The same way of recognizing that you're ruminating and just catching yourself and saying, oh yeah, I'm ruminating. That will become its own habit and what that's gonna do is that it's gonna stop the mind from this feedback loop of constantly thinking about the anxiety. See, the reason why the mind is focused on the anxiety is because it thinks it's a threat. It feels like the physical symptoms are a threat, the thoughts are a threat. It doesn't really know what's a real threat and what's not. But if you show your mind, hey, look, there's nothing there, the mind will self-adjust on its own. So you're not always gonna have to stop and catch yourself. Right? Think about having a problem that seems unfixable and you're trying to fix it. If you fix that problem, you'll notice that your mind will still hyper-focus on that problem, even though the problem's fixed. That's just because it's developed a habit. The same way with rumination, you've just developed a habit. So unlearning that habit will take time, but all you have to do is focus on right now. If you just focus on right now in this moment and catching yourself when that happens, you'll develop the habit on its own and the anxiety will go away and the rumination will go away. To learn more, follow this page and join my lives.